All right, all right, all right. Week, I know, hard to believe, week five. NCIT 93 JavaScript. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I have now met, at this point, more of you, um, which is awesome. And I very much enjoy the conversations. And you're going to hear me say today one of my suggestions, and I might as well start there, is that you know this idea of the code review now that we've talked about it hopefully you have a better idea what it's going to be like you coming in I can I'm going to ask you questions from you know the availability of what I could ask from is anything we've covered and so one thing that can help you feel a little more comfortable and I said this to a student that came in today is like come to see me like if you come to see me either on campus or in zoom during my office hours or you reach out and want to connect with me because remember, right, um, you know, I'm not, I'm pretty offline after six or six or so at night. So I generally work during the day and I generally don't work on the weekends. Um, that's just because that's the way my life is set up. So, but during the times that I am working, I try to be on it and hopefully you've seen very responsive. And the idea of you coming in to see me during the office hours is so that you get a little more comfortable interacting. Because if you're coming into the code review and that's the first time you've connected with me, it, it can tend to create even a little more stress than maybe needed. And, you know, if you're having problems with code, of course, go see Zach, post on Discord, come see me, get help in whatever way you can. I'm just giving you, okay, incentive, hopefully, for another reason to come see me. That's what I was saying here on the code review suggestion. Okay, so here's the kind of the new stuff. And then the last thing I'm going to do is go over my code, the code that you need to have working uh, to move into this week's code alongs. Okay. All right. So um, from this point on, just know that one of the things I had mentioned this already is I will end up cloning in my local system, your private and your public repos. So when I'm grading your work, part of what I will look for is, is your code actually working? So this is why it's really important that when you're coding is that you're you, you have dev tools open, you make sure you're learning how to troubleshoot issues in your code or getting help troubleshooting issues in your code, because that's part of what I want you to learn. And, and I guess I'm adding an additional incentive this week to say, that's also what could, could hurt. But again, the benefit of working ahead of time is that you can fix those things or get help with them. Okay. So this week, two big topics, loops, like we got introduced to them last time, right? We got introduced to them on the discussion. Then I had you uh, actually work on how to uh, write code inside of the loop. Actually, we're going to do something similar at the end of this week. Um, but anyway, more on loops, you'll learn more how to write uh, kind of a traditional for loop. And then you get introduced to objects and objects are just, uh, <laughs> and I have a meme in there that talks about in JavaScript, everything is an object. So that's why objects, we just get the beginning of the introduction of, jo of objects. We will ho hear more about them later. So next week, just to give you a preview, uh, my intention is to we actually start building out because now our code will be at a place at the end of this week that we can now think about how do we instead of running the start function with different pieces of data and yes we haven't built out the rest of the carbon footprint at one point I'll probably have one whole part of the week where I just have you code that up we have enough we can play with because we have two inputs at this point. We have members of the household and we have house size. So those will become a form where a user, and we'll talk about the different ways you can create these forms because it's the most common thing we see on the web. JavaScript is most likely what's used to create that uh, HTML, create it, JavaScript to interact with it. And now where it goes once it's submitted is a whole other thing. But learning how to uh, update the DOM, right? We've actually been already doing it. We did it this week. Uh, we're gonna, we did it on week four. We're going to do more on week five. So, so next week, DOM, more DOM, and forms. So good. So good. Okay. And then, so the last thing I'm going to do here 
is I'm going to cover my code. Just, I'm not going to code it out. And matter of fact, that could be one of the replies that you do. Like, was, was this still effective to hear me talk about my code? Okay, for week four discussion. And again, you want to have your beginning code, right, where you copy uh, from the ending code. Remember, at the end of this, what you want to have is your code in the current state you're going to see mine in, and that's the beginning code you will use for the pri uh, copy it into your private repo for uh, W5 and your private repo for week five. All right, so here's what I ended up doing, and I'll drop my video for a minute. So inside of here, right, so my first line is I've uh, set up a constant for output. Output points to uh, get element by ID. Uh, I'm going to split these so you can see them at the same time. Right, so here's my div here with the out T ID. That's what that one is, and really that's probably the only time we have to look at that. So now we have a reference to the div, and now I'm going to create a new h2. I'm going to do document query or create document doc create element. I'm going to create an h2. I'm going to say for that h2 set its text content. Okay, so I didn't start with h1. Now we could talk about if we should have, but I was just kind of playing around, right? So the more important thing you want to do is have all these things outputted to the page. So I created an H2, then I had the pointer, the ref not pointer, but the reference to the array, and then I said show me the fourth item in there, right? And the zero index, so that was a total. So at this point, I haven't updated the web page yet. I've just created the element. I've then told the text, the element, update your text content. You can use inner HTML. The reason you might not want to often is it overwrites all the HTML in there, depending on how you've set up your DOM. Then I've set up an H3, uh, uh, just a variable, created element H3, set its content, and then I just put some content here is based on the number in and the size of home. And then I built a paragraph and I was just kind of playing with here, like different ways to write this longer output. And in this case, I've said in my new paragraph, I know I made that a little smaller just so you could, let me now drop this now that I no longer need that, right? So I can make that a little bigger and drop this so you don't have to see that, okay? So what I did here is I created a new paragraph Okay, create element P, new P, and on the new P, I first did a first the first template string using the number uh, this number is based on, and then I referenced the different um, er, um, entries items in the array that gave me the number of people in the home and the score, and on the second line I did something different. You don't have to do this. You could actually put it all in one line and then uh, wrap that line if you want. But I ended up doing a plus equals. Now you're going to see this um, this week anyway and I thought ah, it doesn't hurt. But basically what this operator right here does is it says take what was ever in that text content and add this to it. right? Again, I just kind of was playing with that just to give you another example. You don't have to use plus equal. You can just put it all in one template string. And then I said, uh, and a, and this is the size of the home with the score here. Now here's the new code, uh, which is, I said now reference the output, which is again, the div, the HTML and then append child, the h2, h3, here, and the p. Now this matter orders, the, the order matters here. If I did, and you could kind of see if I did it differently, if I did the p first, in that case it wouldn't. And as we learn more about DOM updates, which we would, will do next week, Typically what you would do is build an element that you then append all the things into the element and only do this one twice, only once, sorry. 
because the truth is these are what we call relatively expensive um, from an uh, operation standpoint for our level of code it's not we're not going to see an impact but when you more the more and more JavaScript you see written and you write yourself you try to update the DOM uh, updates uh, you try to limit uh, them and, and actually use other techniques for building up DOM elements okay but this will work and so the output this creates is here right so here is the output itself uh, that I created so there was my h2 now again uh, if you want to go in and hit inspect it will show you even though it shows as HTML I know I created that in code okay so there's my h3 uh, I could either just click here and it would notice how right it, it actually as you roll over it will show you so there's my p element my paragraph and then uh, iterates over the next time creates that okay so however your content is make sure I'm just giving you my example make sure you have all those items on the output so that when we get into this week and again I showed you mine because it might be easier to have it like mine as you look at my code right I'll leave that up and you can pause it right there if you want to just write it as I have it uh, here and then that's what you will start with when you start into and I'm just going to verify this into your first code along for this week I'm gonna make sure I updated the content right in the attendance I'll walk you through this is my week uh, four output so what you want to do is now create in your private right so that this week four was in your public so now in your private create your week five uh, and that's where that will go right so in this case what do I have I think that's my pub so what I'd want to do is have uh, this be in my private again this is probably not the best example because it was really here I had just played around and already been coding inside of my week five so it's really for you right uh, do this make sure you have this output uh, there before you start in uh, to the first code along okay I'll reach out if you need any help Hope this week is something you enjoy coding. I know I enjoyed putting it together. Uh, and I'm really uh, hoping you're, most of you who are reaching out to me seem to be, you know, there's issues always, that's just part of coding. The sooner you ask for help, the better. Uh, I know Zach uh, and I know uh, other folks are helping out on Discord, which is awesome. So thanks to everyone who helps out. Uh, whenever you need somebody else to look at your code, sometimes it just takes somebody else looking at it to see something you can't. All right, talk to you later.